Elizabeth Guigou, you are former Minister of Justice in France and now you're the President of the National Assembly's um, Foreign Affairs Committee. Foreign Affairs Committee. And my condolences, first of all, for the tragedy in Paris last, just a few days ago. But how do you change the jihadist narrative? Well, uh, I don't think it's for government to do that. I think it's for civil society uh, to be responsible for that. What the governments have to do is to give the tools and help, material help, financial help, to the civil society's uh, uh, NGOs uh, so that they can express themselves on internet mainly because radicalization is mainly done through internet now, much more than through the, some uh, extremist uh, mosques. And uh, that's the main thing. And I think that, uh, of course, WPC is part of the civil society. And the civil society is a very, uh, very large uh, gathering. It goes from, uh, you know, very uh, uh, um, um, humble uh, NGOs yeah. up to the most prestigious uh, think tanks like the uh, World Policy uh, uh, Conference and all. And so uh, I think it's absolutely crucial that we do that because unless we have, uh, we, we, unless we succeed in promoting a counter uh, uh, narrative, uh, then we will not... Uh, but is there also a place of military action? I saw President François Hollande has talked of war. Is that contradictory to uh, the idea of changing the narrative? Or complementary? Well, I, I think it's complementary because it, it's true that we have... Well, first, President Hollande wanted to warn the French that uh, we had an unprecedented attack, of course, and we are very... Uh, uh, you know, very moved by the, uh, all the expressions of solidarity with, uh, with France that came from, from abroad. Uh, but he wanted to warn that uh, this is not finished, that we, will, we might very well, and it's probable that there will be other uh, terrorist attacks and therefore that the whole country has uh, to mobilize it itself. And what is uh, the, the most uh, encouraging, I think, in this uh, tragedy is that the, the whole French people said, although they are frightened, of course, but they said we will not, we will not, uh, uh, we will remain, you know, uh, ourselves. We will not change our way of life. We will continue to go uh, to football. Uh, uh, contest. We will continue to go to concerts. We will continue to go uh, uh, at uh, in cafes, and that's very important. And for the first time, and much more than in the uh, uh, January uh, attack, uh, I have seen. I have had uh, thousands of testimonies that our uh, Muslim compatriots were totally uh, behind. Uh, the, the whole of our national community behind our uh, security forces and that they wanted more than they have ever done to express that they were French, that they shared the same values. And that, I think, is, well, in, in all this tragedy, something very comforting. It's a very positive thing. Elizabeth Gigou, thank you so much. Thank you.